hello you're welcome to find the value of x in this nice exponent equation here let's take 20 to this side and we have x raised to power 4 plus x squared minus 20 equals to 0 and uh, from here we can also write 20 here as 16 plus 4 that's minus into bracket 16 plus 4 so we have x raised to power 4 plus x squared then minus here give us 16 plus 4 equals to 0 and of course this minus when it's open this bracket we have x raised to power 4 now plus x squared then minus 16 minus 4 equals to 0 then from here let's rearrange and bring 16 close to x raised to power 4 so we have x raised to power 4 minus 16 then plus x squared minus 4 equals to 0 then from here we can write this as x squared then raised to power 2 since this power multiplied we still have x raised to power 4 then minus here 16 can be written as 4 squared that's 4 times 4 then plus here we have x squared minus 4 then equals to 0 so when we group this together and also group this together from this first bracket here it follows from difference of 2 squared that is a squared minus b squared same thing as a plus b times a minus b and when we write this like that so we have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 then we have plus here x squared minus 4 then equals to 0 and from here we have x squared minus 4 common so let's take it out we have x squared minus 4 out now then what is left here we have x squared plus 4 then what is left here after taking that out is plus 1 which is equal to 0 and uh, from here we can still add this and we have x squared minus 4 now then times x squared plus 5 which is equal to 0 and we have two possible cases here which is x squared minus 4 equal to 0 or we have x squared plus 5 equals to 0 and uh, from this side we can of course write this again that this is x squared minus 2 squared equals to 0 and again this difference of 2 squared which is x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals to 0 and of course we have x plus 2 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 equals to 0 and on this side we have x equals to minus 2 and also we have x equals to 2 so if this is x1 this is x2 then let's get the other values of x on this side from here we can also write this as x square equals to minus 5 and we can take the square root on both sides now so that square cancel square root there and we have x equals to plus or minus root minus 5 which is root 5 then times i because root minus 1 is i and then of course we can write it as x now that is the third x which is x3 we can write that as minus i root 5 and the fourth which is x4 and that is i root 5 so here we have four you know solutions we have two real solutions and two complex solutions from here then to check from what we have if this satisfies the given problem from here we have 
raised to the power 4 plus s squared equals to 20. Then when x equals to plus or minus 2, that is the first set of solution we got. Then this will become plus or minus 2 raised to the power 4. Then plus plus or minus 2 raised to the power 2 is equal to 20. Then, of course, when we raise a negative to an even number, it's also positive. So this is 2 raised to the power 4, which will give us 16 from there. And this is 16 plus. Here also we turn to positive, then 2 raised to the power 2, that's 4. And is this equal to 20 here? Yeah. And 16 plus 4, of course, that's 20, which is equal to 20. So the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And here, x equals to plus or minus 2 to satisfy the given problem. And also, when we test for plus or minus i root 5, then from here, we substitute and we have plus or minus i root 5 then raised to power 4 that's x raised to power 4 now then plus plus or minus i root 5 then square that's x square is equal to 20 then here now also here we turn to positive and here we have i raised to power 4 then times root 5 raised to power 4 then plus also here turns to positive then we have i square, then root 5 also square. And is this equal to 20 from here? And i raised to power 4 there is 1. Because i square is, you know, minus 1. So, and this will turn to 1. Then here, that times, here we become 5 square. And then plus i squared as minus 1 then times here become 5 which is equal to 20 from here and this is 5 squared 5 times 5 then times 1 that's 25 then minus 1 times 5 that's minus 5 here and is this equal to 20 and here we have this as 20 which is equal to 20 the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and also we can say that x equals to plus or minus i root 5 satisfies the given uh, problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye for now.